Hi, I'm Angela Wolf, fashion designer and pattern designer, and one thing I love to do is embellish garments. You might have seen these in past episodes. They're hand beading, we have trim that I crocheted and then hand stitched to the jacket, and this is the same, just a unique decoration. So I want to give you some ideas for other decorations. This fabric right here is a faux suede, and you can barely see, if you look closely, I'll explain the chalk marks later, but you see all those stitches? That's what I call free motion, and it's a mixture of free motion just all over the place. There's no set design, but what I'm gonna do is after I'm finished, I'll cut the jacket out and make it. So that's the inspiration for this. Here's a larger piece, which will give you a little bit better idea. This piece has one piece of padding, so this would make a great vest. Although I designed this for the bottom of a bag and I decided it was too pretty to use. So I'm just gonna use it and pet it. This is all free motion and I drew the design out. And then on this part here, this is just quilted with a decorative stitch. A few more ideas for you. So the first thing I wanna do is I have my pattern here and I wanna chalk out the design. Well. How do you do this? It depends on the size of your pattern and it also depends on where you wanna do the embellishing. So for this pattern, I wanna show you how to do something a little more specific than the entire piece of fabric. So this is a jacket front, side front, side back, and back. I could use it as a vest or I could attach the sleeves, but the table's not big enough, so we'll focus on the jacket body. What I'm gonna do is, you can't fold the fabric in half. I'm gonna chalk each design in just with one flat. Now I'm just gonna free motion this because what you're gonna do is after you do the design, you'll lay the pattern piece back on to make sure the fabric didn't shrink at all from the quilting. It probably won't, but it's better to be safe that way. So I give myself a basic guideline. And this is just Taylor's chalk. It brushes off when you're finished. You could also use the kind of chalk that when you press it, it goes away. Just be careful that it doesn't damage the fabric and also, if you have to press your fabric, it disappears. So this, I find this to be a little safer. And I'm just gonna chalk in a couple of these and then move these out of the way so you can see what's going on. I don't really need to mark the notches because again, once I'm done embellishing, I will lay the pattern pieces back over this area and then I'll mark the notches. So let's just start with these two pieces here. Assuming First, you go through the process of fitting your pattern so you don't have to worry about that later. First, decide where you want the design to go. I'm just gonna grab a ruler. A quilter's ruler is really easy to use because you can line up the areas with the hem and have a nice straight in the center front and the hem. That's where we're gonna focus on. So if this is the hem of my garment, and we're gonna say, I believe the hem allowance on this pattern is two inches. So I'm gonna chalk that in, two inches. There's no sense in wasting all your time doing beautiful artwork, thread painting all over an area that's gonna be hidden inside of the garment. So I'm just gonna put a little X there. We don't need to go there. So picture your jacket. I think it would be really cool, this is the center front, to have a design go all through the front, down through the hem. One of my favorite styles. So let's say we wanna go four inches. So I'm gonna measure four inches from here to here. And then I'm also gonna do this one, two, three, four, across this piece. I will do the same for the side back and the back. And then once I've traced these two pieces, I will flip this over this way, and I will flip this one over. I think you get the idea and continue on. And on all of those pieces, I'm gonna mark a four inch area here. So here's the center front. You're gonna have a seam allowance, and I believe the seam allowance on this pattern is a quarter of an inch which is not very much, but I still wanna chalk it in to give myself a guide. The more markings you give yourself, the better opportunity you have for designing it with a nice flow. And the other thing is, depending on how you're gonna do this, if you're gonna do free motion, if you're gonna do embroidery, this will give you a really good guide. So now I'm marking four inches from the front. Looks pretty good. What about the shoulder area? It's your choice, you're the designer. So what I'm gonna do is, let's see, why don't we mark four inches? One, two, three, four. From here, that gives me kind of a guide. And similar to facing, how it kind of curves, why don't we just make that a nice little curve right here? 
So this jacket does not have a collar, so I could embellish all the way through here, down through the hem area, and all the way through. I would do the same with the sleeves, a bottom area on the sleeve. So are you getting the idea? You could also do all the fabric, but this will be more fun, at least for this project. All right, so what are you gonna do about a design? You have a lot of options. For This fabric's a little dark for it, but if you have a light box, you can put a light box underneath and trace a design, something that you've printed out or you purchased online. And I'm going to just give myself a guide just to follow. Remember, this is free motion. So there's my pattern. Here's my seam allowance. You should mark your seam allowances in here. No sense in bothering with those, except you don't want, the one thing you want to do is you're not going to backstitch on your decorative stitches. So make sure you at least go a little bit into the seam allowance. So once you sew your garment together, you don't have stitches falling out. Let's do a little bit more through here, and I'm gonna chalk it in here, and then we're gonna go to another piece. So something similar to this, are you getting the idea? If you want this to be exactly the same, then I would use computer software to lay out my design, and, but I'm gonna do this free motion, so if it matches perfectly, it doesn't matter because I'm the artist. Looks great. Now, I would not cut the pieces out. I would leave this one big piece of fabric. If you're going to be doing this on a sewing machine with just a small frame, uh, then it might be different. But it's easier if it's all in one piece. There's no backing on here, this fabric. This is just a denim. There's no backing. For this red piece, there was no backing. If you want quilting, it's your choice. What I've done here is I've put my machine on a frame and I'm able to design from above. I'm just gonna grab my chalk here. So if this is my side front and side back, which I just showed you there, you can see the pieces are chalked in, just like this. There's my hem allowance. And I wanted to show this closer on a piece of red fabric, the same design that we just did. Let's just say I wanna do something similar to this. Now if I'm gonna cross over or if I'm just gonna do quilting, it really doesn't matter but I'm gonna just give myself somewhat of a guide. I wanna stay in that area. So all I'm gonna do is just start stitching and I can go around following the design that I've already created with the chalk or if you chalked in a more intricate design, you can change colors. Notice I'm trying to get right to the edge and I'm staying out of the seam allowance. And just continue to go around however you want it to go. Now, if you're doing the entire piece of fabric, you're gonna have to move the fabric around a little bit more than I'm doing here. I'm just really making a crazy design so you can get the idea. And I'm, when I get up to the top edge right here of where I've chalked, remember that's kind of a base of as far as you want the design. So if you're gonna be wearing this jacket later, it's gonna look like this is part of your fabric because once you sew all your pattern pieces together, the design is gonna be four inches from the hem all the way around. So I'm just gonna kind of make this a little wider at the end to finish this side here. Does it have to match? It's your jacket, it really doesn't matter. And I'm breaking all the rules, I'm just like designing whatever I want to around here. And I just wanna finish one section and show you something. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna just stop and cut my thread here and move it out of the way. So if this was the side front, one thing that I would not wanna do is I would not wanna have this here. I would wanna start the stitch closer to the side seam. So that was my fault. So keep that in mind and notice how I ended the stitch in the side seam. So when I'm cutting this out and sewing it together, the little ends will not show, number one, and number two, you won't have to worry about the thread coming undone. When I'm finished with this, I could change colors, you could do applique on here, how about couching? All of these things would be optional that would look fabulous on here. So if this is the side front, I would wanna do a very similar design on the side back, the back, just like I mentioned. So what I've done here is put the fabric in and I will do all the areas that I have marked. I'm gonna to have to continue to move the fabric to be able to get to the center front and the sleeves. So I'll just keep going around and when I'm all finished, I'm just gonna to go to one more section here and show you one other idea for you. You gotta love creativity with a bunch of ideas. 
Here's one if you really wanted to do something with a different color thread. Now this is not a straight line, but you could do straight lines and add another piece of fabric. That trim would look just like a high-end jacket. And then when I'm finished, I would sew it all together. These are really not straight lines. I think you'll get the idea. And I want to talk about two more options here for you. If you don't have a place for your machine to set into a frame like this, you could take an embroidery hoop or just a flat hoop and make your fabric really tight. The key is that you have to have your fabric tight when you're doing this stitching, otherwise you have to put stabilizer on the back. On the back of this fabric, this is a denim, there is nothing back here. So I'll be able to stitch the entire garment, cut it out, and sew it together. So I hope this gave you some great embellishing ideas. Have fun with this one. Creativity's endless on this.